but we've got Mariah Duran. Uh, Mariah Duran from Albuquerque, New Mexico. X Games, Minneapolis last year, and we got a chance to learn more. So, out of the USA, Mariah Duran. I'm, I'm interested to see how she's going to approach this final, Alex. How could we forget about our defending gold medalist from X Games Minneapolis, Mariah Duran? Yeah, she is something else. Putting lines together, and, and you know what she wants? That. Look at that slappy wall right over it. Growing up skating, yeah, you're a girl, or yeah, you're a guy. There's genders and stuff like that too, but as soon as you step on a board at that point, in my mind, you're just a skateboarder. For skateboarding to be in the Olympics, I just feel like it's gonna make the conversation a little bit easier for people who wanna start. It's always intimidating to enter a new sport, but in reality, at the end of the day, like, you get what you put in. I get to skate with my brothers. I started skating with them, and I'm super blessed to have brothers that skate as well, you know, and that continue to push me. I used to be like, oh, here come the Durans, like, how skating? Now it's like, oh my God, you guys are traveling the world. Oh my God, you're in the Olympics. It's just such a different conversation. Oh, Zeke, Elijah, let's go skate. At the end of the day, like, I'm still a skater. The greatest thing about understanding success is like, you also have to give back. If I can open that door for them, I'm gonna absolutely do it. It just takes one person to believe. I want all my homies to eat. You can't be thinking of something else while you're skating. It takes all your focus into that moment. When I was like, man, I don't even really know if there's a future in this. That was when I was like, do I need to quit? And I was like, I'm gonna enter this contest. There was a girls division and I was like, damn, I didn't even know there was other girls that could skate. And then I think that night, I was like, please God, if I'm meant to do this, make something happen for me tomorrow. So I just have a confirmation that I need to be doing this. And then I took second. They wanted to offer me a sponsorship for like a board a month. That little moment changed the trajectory of like, all right, you meant to do this, like keep going then. Sometimes you want to be realistic. And I feel like that's when the doubt happens with anything. I'd rather be unrealistic and be happy than like, quit something that I love. Big bro, first try. Oh, what's the pressure? Let's go! Performing under pressure is a privilege. There's always going to be a balance of confidence and doubt. Can you guys get out of the way? Just kidding. <laughs> when I'm about to drop in for a contest and everything's on the line, and I've been working so hard for this and just do nothing. It really matters except for the moment you're in. That was insane, but you weren't even ready, huh? <laughs> you can't change what got you there or the environment or anything. You can only control what you do. Right when I drop in and I hear my board, I'm dialed. I'm like, all right, just skate. This is it, this is it, let's go, let's go. If I'm climbing up on the podium in Tokyo, my main thing is just absorb every moment. You don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. All you really have is right now. Oh! Let's go! But even if I don't even climb up on the podium, I'm gonna be like, damn, I still got here at the end of the day. And nobody thought it was ever gonna happen. For young female skaters who are struggling to believe you're not alone, the first thing that always gets tested is how bad do you really want it? It's not going to be an easy journey and nothing worth it comes easy. Hopefully people see my story and they're like, damn, Mariah started skating when she was 10. She made it all the way to the Olympics when it wasn't even like a thing, but throughout her journey just did it for the love and just understood that like sometimes you got to be unrealistic and be happy. But I think that's the beautiful thing about your passion. It shouldn't really feel like you should put a limit. It just should be a part of you. I already knew I'm gonna be skating way past the 2021 Olympics because it's what I love doing. Everything else is just gonna come as it goes. I don't know what else is next, but all I know is I'll be skating whatever the future holds.